And feed my horses while you're at it. Okay. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Today I'm going to be teaching you about World War I and submarines. And the effect that submarines had on World War I. Now, I realize that today you guys might not be intrigued so much by history. So here's a video of a cat. That is one cute feline. Now come on, join me on a history safari as we delve deep into the mystery of World War I. It was a regular day, Sunday morning, June 28, 1914. The day that marked the start of World War I. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the heir to the throne of Austria-Hungary, paraded through the streets, disregarding his unwelcome appearance in efforts to make peace through the rebel countries. This is Gavrilo Princip, the leader of the terrorist group Young Bosnia, who failed to kill him, but later shot him to death, resulting in the death of him and his wife, Sophie. You might ask, what submarines have to do with World War I? Well, let me tell you. It's very important in this and close. German U-boats were both deadly and stealthy as they usually attacked merchant ships from the U.S. or Britain, which angered both countries and was very, very controversial. Approximately 7,000 Allied ships have been sank and 11 million gross tons of steel. And possibly the most important submarine event, the sinking of the American cruise liner, the Lithuania. And you might ask... How does sinking a cruise ship mean that much to a war? Well, let me tell you. Listen close. The sinking of Lithuania was very controversial because it influenced the USA to join the war. And when we wore, we wore hard. Although sonar was invented in 1904, it wasn't widespread used until the World War I, where it was needed to track submarines. This influenced the building of all naval ships because they would need sonar and is now a custom today, and every ship has one. If you take three things from this video, let it be one, that submarines influenced the World War I in big ways. Two, don't mess with America. And three, America never loses.